Okay, this is on section 5.2. We're going to calculate the expected value. If I can get my pen to work. There we go. So the expected value is the same thing as the mean, the average. Um, so let's take a look at this problem. A lottery offers one prize for 900, one prize for 700, uh, two prices for 300, four for 100, uh, 1,000 tickets. There are 1,000 tickets sold. Um, and each ticket is $6. When you buy them, it's $6. So they're bringing in, it's kind of cool, $6,000 in income. <laughs> um, and if you look, just look at the side of it, uh, they're going to give one prize for 900. They're going to give one prize 700, uh, two prizes for 300, and four prizes for 100. They're giving back They're giving back, uh, f this is 400, this is 600, two for 300, 700, and 900. They're giving back $2,600. So they're bringing in $6,000 and they're giving away <laughs> $2,600. So they're making a profit of $3,400 if you look at this. Well, we're going to write a table for this, a frequency table. Um, we're going to write uh, $900. We won $900. By the way, there are a thousand tickets. Only one person wins $900. One out of a thousand will win $900. Um, one person will set, win $700, one out of a thousand will win $700, uh, two out of a thousand will win $300 and, uh, the hundred dollar prize, there are four of them out of a thousand that will win a hundred dollar prize. Now, if you look at this, um, our probabilities down at the bottom have to add up to one, right? Any frequency distribution table, probabilities have to add up to one. Uh, in other words, one is a thousand over a thousand, since we're using that as a fraction. But here we only have eight over a thousand. If we add up all of these on the bottom, we only have eight over a thousand. We have 992 left. These 992 people didn't win any money. In fact, they spent $6 for a ticket and at the end of the auction or whatever the raffle, they had the ticket still in their hand that they paid $6 for and they might as well throw it away because they, the eight people already won their prizes and there are no more prizes. Now, if you look at the bottom, it adds up to 1,000 over 1,000. All the tops add up to 1,000. Um, the last thing uh, before we put this in our calculator, I want to look at is did we really win $900? When I paid my money for this raffle, I gave them $6. And if I'm the big winner of 900, they give me 900 back. So I didn't really win 900 because I already gave them $6. Um, they give me 900, but 
out of that 900, six was my own money that I already paid. So I real didn't win 900. I won 894. Do you see the $6 is what I paid already. So when they gave me $900, six of it was my money back that I paid for the ticket. And then I only won 894. Same way with this 700. I didn't win. If I won this, I didn't win $700. I won 700 minus six because I paid $6 for that ticket. 700 minus six is 694. And the same thing goes for the 300. Uh, $300, I won 294. And this says a thousand, but it was four people won a hundred dollars, but they didn't really win a hundred. They won a hundred minus six. They won $94. Do you see when you get a hundred, you got your six back that you paid for the ticket and then you got $94 profit. So this is what it looks like to type in my calculator to find the expected value, what I should expect when I pay $6 for a ticket. Uh, and I'm going to put that in my calculator, L1 and L2. So let's do that, stat L1. I'm typing in, I better clear that. Clear that. So I'm typing in 894 in L1, 694, 294, 94, and negative six, not subtract six, but negative six. For the probabilities, I'm gonna type in one divided by a thousand. Uh, one divided by a thousand. Two divided by a thousand. Four divided by a thousand and 992 people lost divided by a thousand. So that's what it looks like. when I typed it into my calculator. And we're going to do second VARs number one, second VARs number one. Um, we're not doing second VARs number one. <laughs> we're doing second, we're doing stat. Let me clear everything. We're doing stat calculate number one, L1, L2. So for this problem, we are doing, pushing the stat button, arrow over to calculate, doing number one var stats. And then we have L1 and L2, and the L2 is a frequency list, hit enter. And we're looking for the expected value. And the expected value is the mean when you're looking at this. And the mean is negative $3.40. In other words, if you bought all the tickets, you're expected to lose $3.40 overall <laughs> every t for every ticket that you buy. Because, you know, they're only giving, look, look, they're only giving $2,600 in prize money back. They took in $6,000. 6000 minus... 2,600 is 3,400. Do you see? That's why for there's a thousand tickets. For every ticket uh, you spend, you can expect to lose $3.40. If you bought all the tickets, 
you'd win 2,600, but you'd pay 6,000. In other words, you would have lost $3,400 if you bought all 1,000 tickets. For every ticket you buy, expect to lose a $3.40. All right, I hope this problem, uh, this helped you with this problem.